as I told you, we have to log in using our school affiliation number and the LOC password. Here I will show you. This is a one which you have to follow self assessment. Okay, this first domain contains 1.1 to 1.7. Under each domain, you have the standards. And for each standard, you have this kind of statements and whichever is not applicable, you can leave that statement blank. Four. So this is the kind of assessment you have to take. If you tick mark whatever is applicable on you and total standards are 84, total applicable standards are 75, total score is 300. Out so of that, all three steps are interconnected. Without completing first step, you cannot proceed to the second step. And without completing second step, you cannot proceed to the third NDP. step. Now, this is going to be a statement. You have to either tick mark it or leave it blank. If you are following it, tick mark. If not, then leave it blank. Four. Ultimately, yes, CBSE yes. wants that every school should achieve level four, but they don't expect you to do it in the first session itself. So even... Hello, friends especially all those friends who have been waiting for my second video on SCORE, School Quality Assessment by CBSE. Yes, I had mentioned in my previous video that I will make the second part only if I will get 10,000 views and 500 likes on my first video. Although the video is performing very well, it has crossed 7,000 views and 300 likes, but yet it is not as expected. So keeping my promise in mind, I could have waited for some more time. But in the meanwhile, I'm getting a lot of queries from a lot of friends of mine, including many principals who are worried about score assessment, especially all those who have to apply for extension in affiliation. For them, it is mandatory and they have to do it at the earliest because the last date for applying for extension in affiliation is 30th of June, 2023. For other schools, they can wait up to December, 2023 because it has been mentioned very clearly in the circular that the assessment has to be taken by every CBSE affiliated school once in a year from April to December of that session. So it is up to the schools. When do they want to take this assessment who are not applying for extension in affiliation? Like my school is not applying for extension in affiliation in this session. So for me, it is not mandatory to do it right now. I can do it later, later also. That is a reason I did not go through in details as well. But because, as I mentioned earlier, I'm receiving a lot of calls where many of the friends are requesting to simplify what is to be done for score assessment. I decided that though I have not achieved the target. Still, I will make a short video in which I will simplify what is to be done. Let me take you to the screen where I'm going to show you the CBSE website itself. Many of the friends are not even aware how to apply for score assessment, where to go. So for them, this is very important. This is the main page of CBSC website, cbscgov.in. We go to the main website. Here on this main website, you need to go to the academics link. So go to quick navigation and click academics. In academics, or academics, whatever you want to say. Here, 
on this green strip, you will find the link for SCOA. See, I have taken the cursor to SCOA. It has turned to be with the black background. You can click this SCOA tab. It will take you to the SCOA website, SQAA. Encouraging self-evaluation, accountability, collaboration, and innovation. This is the aim of SCORE. Here you will find a lot many tabs on this trip, gray strip. The first one is home. Second one is about SCORE. If you'll go to this tab one by one, you can see the details available over here, the SCORE framework. It's about SCORE framework. It's self-explanatory. You can read it very well. What is the purpose of SCORE has been defined in these tabs, vision, mission, and values. This is the vision for SCORE, mission for SCORE, the value. These are the objectives for SCORE initiative. I'm not going to read all these and I'm not going to go into details because I have to make this video in brief just to simplify the whole process. And this is the process which they define. It is in three steps, self-assessment by school on SCORE framework, development of school improvement plan, and implementation of school improvement plan. So this is the whole purpose of SCORE. You have to take self-assessment first of all on the portal. Then you have to develop a school improvement plan based upon the assessment which you have taken and then implementation of that plan. So all three steps are interconnected. Without completing first step, you cannot proceed to the second step. And without completing second step, you cannot proceed to the third step. Then comes the structure and organization of SCORE. It has domains which are, which are broad areas of school functioning. Basically seven domains are there. Then under domains, there are subdomains which specify what constitutes the concerned domain. Kisse milke bana hai wo domain. And then under that, the standards or you can call them sub subdomains. Standards qualify the various aspects of subdomains or defines the subdomain, what is to be done. And under standards, you will find the assessment rubrics, performance indicators and levels. And once you indicate your performance, you will require some evidences and records for the same. What is there in performance indicators? Four performance levels specific against each standard ranging from one to four. Against each standard, you will be judged on four levels. Level one is the very basic level and level four is the advanced level. If you follow very less of the assessment indicators, or what is expected from you as a CBSE affiliated school, you will find yourselves at level one. And if you are following each and everything as expected by CBSE and SCORE framework, then you will find yourself at level four. Set of observable actions or practices termed as performance indicators mentioned against each performance level. Observable actions or practices. The actions and practices which can be observed, which are concrete, which can be seen and felt and judged by anybody based on evidences. So that is why you have to make the evidences and records for the same. If you are not going to produce the evidences and records in case CBSE asks for, especially in case of the inspection of extension cases, 5% of the cases, they can ask for the records. And in that case, you will have to produce the records. That is why I say you should not 
do any fake assessment you should go for a genuine assessment of your school's present functioning so that in case you are asked to produce the records you are not caught unaware or you are not found to be cheating yourself as well as cbsc so here also you can see furthermore information is available as i said seven main domains are there curriculum pedagogy and assessment is the first domain this is the main domain which consists of 40% of the assessment then there is infrastructure adequacy functionality and aesthetics then there are human resources inclusive practices management and government governance leadership beneficiary satisfaction so you have to basically assess yourselves on all these seven domains all these seven domains have further different standards based upon which you will be assessed these are the sub domains each domain will have certain sub domains for example the sub domains for curriculum pedagogy and assessment they have mentioned over here curriculum planning teaching learning process student enrichment programs mainstreaming physical education and sports values and ethos student performance assessment and learning outcome feedback etc so this is one example there are going to be further sub domains like this under every domain sub sub domains or the standards for benchmarking the statements there are going to be standards or benchmarking statements in front of which you will have to tick mark whichever is applicable to you all standards set under sub domains tend to qualify various aspects of the concerned sub domains for example under curriculum and planning a sub domain curriculum pedagogy and assessment we would find following standards and or benchmarking statements principals and teachers are familiar with the spirit and content of ncf and recommendations of neb now this is going to be a statement you have to either tick mark it or leave it blank if you are following it tick mark if not then leave it blank this will help you in assessment this will be counted as your self assessment so the more tick marks you have the more you will move towards level 4 the less tick marks you have the less you will move towards 4 and more you will be towards level 1 the principal and teachers are familiar with the curriculum document and support material brought out by cbse if yes tick mark if not leave blank likewise you can assess yourself and tick mark whichever is applicable to you then there are performance levels performance indicators rubrics and answer the following questions how school would be assessed on each standard i'm not going to go in detail of this then there will be score as i said there are four levels level 1 is system is at initial stage practices are individual based then you will progress to level 2 where system is early constructive years practices are generally corrective in nature then by making more progress you go to level 3 then to level 4 ultimately cbse wants that every school should achieve level 4 but they don't expect you to do it in the first session itself so even if you find yourself at level 1 in the first session you have a lot of scope of improvement you can improve yourselves and reach level 2 in the next year or so and then you can improve further to reach level 3 and finally you have to improve yourselves to such an extent that you reach level 4 this is the aim of score framework right then we come to the this is the approach and impact you will become confident and better it empowers the leaders it's holistic it's kind of self assessment student learning outcomes are achieved because of this self explanatory framework is there which is very clear it has a lot of adaptability because it's con contextual confident and better equipped schools this is the aim of score framework they want to make you confident and better then there is continual improvement 
once you are taking this assessment, you are finding the areas of weakness and continually you are improving yourselves. Then standardization. This assessment framework is common for all the schools. So it will be standardized for all the schools. Once all the schools achieve level four, they will be at the same level. Then this is score framework. It's a detailed document of 300 pages. You can go through all this document. This will help you in taking the assessment. I'll explain the points of this document, not today, but maybe in future. <laughs> Once again, keeping the target for this video, 10,000 views and 500 likes. If this video will gain 10,000 views and 500 likes, then I will explain the detailed framework also because 300 pages is not an easy task. So help me achieving this target and so that I can make another video on framework. This is the user guide for SCORE portal. It is self-explanatory how to start your assessment. You have to go to the SCORE portal where we already are. This is the link for that SCORE portal. You can go to the link also. Otherwise, like I told, I told you already, you can uh, go to the CBSE website and then you can go. You have to log in into the school login account. I'm going to do my login and then show you a page or two of score. For login, you have to use your own credentials of LOC. Suppose your affiliation number is your ID and whatever password you use for the LOC. You can use the same password for the score portal also. You, you can use cbsc.shiksha.in email also to log into the system. You have to enter your school login, LOC credentials or cbsc.shiksha.in email and then get OTP and sign into score portal. These are two ways, either of the ways you can use for signing in. Then after logging, the following dashboard or the screen will be there. I'll show you this dashboard. You can take self-assessment. This is the one self-assessment. Here I will show you. This is the one which you have to follow self-assessment. And then further, you will find the self-learning material on SCORE framework. So these are the indicators, self-assessment parameters, the standards, one by one you can take whichever is not started yet it will show not started for example if i will show you now it will show all not started yet because i've not started actually so i have to take all these standards one by one and assess myself and then there will be overall scorecard which will be generated based on this scorecard you will get your performance sheet also and you will be able to improve yourselves based on that. So let's log in and see. As I told you, we have to log in using our school affiliation number and the LOC password. Followed by the CAPTCHA. So here you sign in as it was shown earlier. I had told you already that this kind of dashboard will be there. Instructions with regard to undertaking self-assessment against SCORE framework. If you want, you can read all these instructions. It will show you that by doing what, you will find yourself at level one or level two or level three or level four. So this is the kind of assessment you have to take. If you tick mark whatever is applicable on you and leave whatever is blank for you, based on that, you will be assessed and you will receive your score in the scorecard, right? Then there is information regarding integration of score with affiliation. This information you can simply go through. Then there is self-learning material. 
spirit of squaw whole learning dream if you want to know more about it this is a teaser i have already shared the videos related to this in a single video on my youtube channel you can just go through that video all these videos are available in that single video case study and each and everything then there is quiz you can take this quiz also if you want you have the resource material i'm not going to go into detail of all this so this is the self assessment which you have to take as i mentioned already seven domains are there i have not started any domain if i start any domain then there will be sub domains under that sub main domain okay this first domain contains 1.1 to 1.7 under each domain you have the standards and for each standard you have this kind of statements and whichever statement is applicable on you you have to simply tick mark that statement and whichever is not applicable you can leave that statement blank for example i'll just read these statements school leaders have read the nep and ncf documents and engaged in discussions if you have already done this then tick it if not then leave it blank right school leaders have identified the key recommendations of nep and ncf if you have identified the recommendations then tick it if not leave it blank and finally after taking all this assessment you will have to press save similarly in all the sub domains or the standards you will find the statements whichever is applicable on your school simply tick mark which is not applicable leave it blank and then save and then finally you will have to save and continue it will submit the result your assessment will be submitted ultimately you have to complete all these actions and finally submit and then your school's assessment will be done and you will receive an overall scorecard where you will find the points here you can see no scores obtained because i have not taken any assessment total standards are 84 total applicable standards are 75 total score is 300 out of that you have to obtain whatever score you can obtain and then weightage will be calculated out of 100 and then finally you will get the score in terms of percentage also then you will be shown your maturity levels 1 2 3 or 4 based upon that you can plan your future improvement as a school here i would like to make one thing very clear that purpose of this assessment is not to rank you not to give you any grade not to demoralize or discourage you this has already been made very clear by cbse in the circular which i had explained earlier the purpose is only that you should realize the level at which you are at present and you should make efforts to improve yourselves and to achieve level 4 in all the domains and all the standards so right now when you are doing your assessment if you feel that there are some standards and some statements under the standards which you were supposed to do you can do at present also but you were not doing so better do that perform that action keep a record of that and then tick mark that statement while doing the assessment let me be very clear once again if there were some parameters on which you feel that you could have taken an action you could have performed that action and you could have maintained the record also and still you can do in very short period of time before you finally submit the assessment then go ahead but if there are some parameters in the standards which you feel are not possible to perform in this session especially for those who have to apply for extension if they feel that there is shortage of time and they cannot 
complete that parameter or the action mentioned under that parameter in this short period of time, then there is no need to worry. You have enough time in the coming sessions where you can improve upon all those parameters and aspects which CBSE wants you to achieve in order to achieve level four. Once again, I'm saying CBSE ultimately wants that all the schools should be at level four. And for that, every year, the assessment has to be taken by all the CBSE affiliated schools. So there is a lot of scope of improvement for each and every school. I doubt whether any school can be at level four in all the parameters and in all the levels in the very first session itself. So don't worry at all. There is nothing to worry about. Don't panic. Just take this assessment as your self-assessment for the first session itself to find out where do you actually stand at present. There may be some standards where you can achieve level four or three, and there may be some standards where you will achieve only level one. Don't worry at all about any of this. For the first session, be calm, cool, composed, and take the assessment and show the real picture to CBSE as well as to yourselves. Where you can improve right now, go ahead, improve. Where it is not possible for you to improve right now, take your time, do it in the coming time so that by the next assessment, you can show a great achievement and improvement to CBSE as well as to yourself. So don't worry and don't panic once again, I'm saying. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Principal Rasi Gupta. Like and share this video as much as possible so that it reaches the target of 10,000 views and 500 likes as soon as possible. So till the time I come out with my new video, keep watching Principal Rasi Gupta. Thank you.